Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. So I made a video uh, a couple weeks ago regarding uh, secondary crime scenes. And in that video, you can go back and watch part one, uh, I said never, 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 never go with someone to a secondary crime scene because nothing good ever happens there, which is true. And I thought uh, a little bit more about that, and I think I wanted to explain why a little bit more. So there are two types of crime as we break them down, right? There is for-profit crime, right? Give me your, your wallet or your TV or your car or whatever. Like, I'm committing a crime as a means to an end. The thing I want is something else that's not you, right? I want your stuff. It's a for-profit crime, right? Again, your car, your wallet, your purse, whatever. Like, I want the stuff, just give me the stuff, right? And nobody needs to get hurt here, right? right? We've all seen that. So th that's, that's the for-profit crime. And then there's the second kind of crime, which is thankfully more rare, but it still exists, where uh, it, it's you are the crime, right? That's the rape, that's the mur torture murder, that's the child molestation, those are the abductions. Like, that's the really sick, dark, twisted stuff where you are the crime. Now, the, the problem is uh, a lot of people can confuse the two. And usually, of course, the confusion becomes, look, just give them what they want, and then they'll leave you alone, right? We assume that all crime is for profit crime. Now, granted, uh, I will say, profit crime is the majority of, of crime, right? Again, thankfully, the really sick, dark stuff is, is on the rarer side. However, it still exists, right? And that's why we say never go to someone with a secondary to, to with someone to a secondary crime scene because that's a tip off that it's not the for profit crime. If they just wanted your stuff, they would have taken that already and left. But if they want you to go somewhere with them, that's the same thing. That, right? If someone takes your purse and takes it with them, they've accomplished their goal. If they take you and go with them, they've accomplished their goal. Right? That's what they want. That's where you become the crime. So I think that's an important distinction. And it's, it's good to not confuse the two. Because if you're dealing with, with the one who's the second kind, where you're the crime kind of person, right? And you're like, here, just take my wallet. But that's not what they want. And they might take your compliance, meaning that you're going to be a further easy target. And this is going to be a good time for them, right? So is, is there an easy way to tell right away when someone approaches you and starts committing a crime? Not necessarily, no. Uh, and for that reason, right, that's why we carry guns to defend our lives. Because when someone puts our life in danger, whether it's a for-profit crime or you are the crime, your life is in danger, period. Uh, ability, jeopardy, opportunity, right? So I just want to make that distinction and have that clear in your mind. There are two kinds of crime out there. There's the for-profit and then there's the stuff where you're the crime. And the stuff where you're the crime is the really sick and dangerous stuff. And that is why we never, 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 under any circumstances ever, go with someone to a secondary crime scene. Do brave deeds and endure.